Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I am finally gonna play with my Atom Miner yet again after about a year. Good year since I played with my Atom Miner and I've had it off for a long time. And in case you guys don't know, this Atom Miner is a FPGA. And I got it from good old Alex from Atom Miner about a year ago and he was gracious enough to send it to me and I haven't really done any content on it and I decided now I wanna do some content on it. So something different that I wanna do is attach a Raspberry Pi to this Atom Miner. And you guys can see here, I have a Raspberry Pi 4. This is a version 4, not a 3. And this has like, you know, USB 2, gigabit ethernet, and I got a 32 gig SD card in there, micro SD. And it's got like two HDMI, mini HDMI ports here, and a USB-C for power and it has audio and all that kind of stuff. But this is actually a kit that I got off Amazon. This is a starter kit for Raspberry Pi 4. This is the Model B version and it has four gigabytes of RAM. And it also came with this kit, like case kind of thing, but I, I didn't put it on yet. I'm just gonna have it bare like this for now as I play with this Atom Miner. Okay guys, so first things first, let me go ahead. I'm gonna plug in the power for these guys, okay? So, so the Raspberry Pi first, I'm gonna plug it into my watt meter here so we're gonna see the power consumption for both the Raspberry Pi as well we're gonna see the power for the FPGA okay so this is probably gonna be really low power consumption to be honest and yeah it's probably gonna turn on now actually yeah it's got some lights it's got some power there and it has a red light, obviously. I think that's because we don't have it plugged into the Raspberry Pi yet. But we actually have to go ahead, we gotta, we gotta take out the 32 gig SD card and flash it to the Atom Miner OS, basically, okay? So I'm gonna put this onto my computer, and then we're gonna go to the Atom Miner website, and I'm gonna set up the Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian Buster with Atom Miner and Desktop Image OS. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this, and uh, of course, I'll have links down below in case you guys have an item miner and want to set this up as well. Okay, so it's just downloading right now. I'll wait for this. Yeah, this thing is really cool. Uh, it's just been a long time since I touched this item miner. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, and uh, I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel motivated to make any content with this FPGA, but now I do have motivation, and uh, I got a Raspberry Pi to do it with. So that should be pretty fun. This should be pretty low power consumption. I'm excited to see how much power it should take. Alex, if you are watching me right now, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for sending this to me about a year ago. And uh, I know I, it's been a long time since I made a video about this Atom Miner, but thank you so much yet again. So sorry that I've been procrastinating. And uh, this is not sponsored or anything by any means, guys. He, he just sent me this for review. It's nothing that I'm tied to, okay? Alex is a great guy. You guys should go check him out, atomminer.com. Okay, so I got the SD card plugged into my Kingston SD card reader, and I'm gonna plug this into the computer. Okay, so we're gonna use Belina Etcher to put the image onto the SD card. So we're just gonna go like that, and it should automatically select the SD card, 32 gig, and we're gonna hit flash and uh, then we'll wait for this. Okay, so while that's flashing, actually, I need to plug the HDMI into my monitor here. Okay, so here's the HDMI cable. Okay, HDMI cable's in. That goes to the Raspberry Pi here. The USB-C is plugged into here. Next, I need to, I think I need to plug in the Atom Miner into the Raspberry Pi, so let's do that now. Okay, that's in, and as well, I need ethernet, I need internet, okay, so I got a cable right here, and it's gonna go into the Raspberry Pi, there we go. All right, let's see if the USB is done. Okay, it is flashed onto the SD card, and now the next step that we have to do is go to the how-to doc real quick here. We have to configure the miner, and how we do that is just add a amuser.override text file and that is where you put in your registered email okay so similar to putting like on hive os or smos or something uh, we got to create a little config here so we're going to go new text document and it's going to be named amuser.override you hit enter and now we are going to edit this 
and add in the email that's associated uh, to your account. So this is going to be my red panda burner email 2018 at gmail.com. All right, that's in there. We just have to hit save. Okay, close. Now we can eject the SD card and we're going to put it into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, here we go, guys. I got the SD card here. Now I just gotta put it into the Raspberry Pi, like so. Okay, so it's in, there we go. All right, now we just gotta turn on the Raspberry Pi and see, and see if it shows up on the screen here. All right, we got something. That looks good. Oh, I forgot to plug in the mouse and keyboard. Uh, so let me do that now. One there, and one there. Okay. Look at this little Raspberry Pi. Looks so small. Small little tiny computer. Okay, looks like it's doing something. And we shall see some desktop soon, I think. And basically it should start automatically mining. We may have to do some preliminary stuff, but I think it should just mine. Yeah, so there we go. We, got, we are at the Raspberry Pi desktop. It does the initial thing. We can just hit cancel here. And uh, now, in order to see if it's mining, it should go green, but I think we have to do a preliminary thing here. Okay, so after that AM user override, we basically, it says here, all set to start mining. Uh, you basically plug it in, let it boot, and in the mining software, it says here, starting upon boot, your default using the Pi background name terminal. To summon the mining rig log, you can use the following command in the Pi's terminal, either Pi itself or via SSH. Uh, so we're not doing by SSH, we're doing it by manual, like plugged in already into the keyboard and monitor. Uh, so we're gonna type in terminal screen dash R space atom miner. All right, so let me do that over here. Screen dash R space atom miner. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, let's blow this up and we should technically be mining now. Looks like we're configure configured for Tribus. Uh, looks like we're getting some share accepted already, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm expecting this might take a little bit to see the submitted shares. So I'm gonna let this run for about five minutes, but we can see that it's actually mining right now. I believe it said it was mining Tribus. Uh, so we shall see in about five minutes what's gonna happen. Okay, so I'll be back. Just showing you guys the power consumption. Right now it's mining. Looks like I'm getting 33.22 mega hash, 15 watts. Look at that, 15.2 watts. So that's for the Raspberry Pi and the Atom Miner. Okay, so look at that. That's such low power consumption. But you know, whatever, if that equates to good profitability, I will let you guys know in the next episode. We're gonna do a part two, what the profitability is for the Atom Miner. And uh, yeah, I'll have that later on. Okay, so let me, let, let's just have this mining for about a good five, 10 minutes and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay guys, so it's been mining for a good couple minutes now and it looks like it's actually mining global token. And uh, I was getting about 33 mega hash and uh, I just realized Global token, this is the coin. I've never heard of it before, but this coin is worth 0.00067 cents USD. And it looks like it went up 39% today. That's quite amazing. Hopefully it's not because I'm mining global token, but that is interesting. It looks like it actually changed to a different coin. It says it's mining the most profitable coin at the moment, log. Okay, so this is a Skyn2 algorithm. And uh, let's see here, we are getting about 55.94 mega hash. Almost 56 mega hash mining Skyn2. Looks like we're getting accepted shares now, so that's actually pretty cool. At the website, we are seeing now, yes, log is now showing up on the website here. And I think my coins will be coming out after a couple hours, after it's been confirmed, that will take a little bit. But you know what, I think this is it. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna have another video showing how much this Atom Miner makes after 24 hours, okay? So I'm gonna let this mine for about 24 hours, 
and uh, I will come back. I'm gonna make note of my time here. 4 p.m. Okay, so the next day I'm gonna record a new video and uh, I will let you guys know the profitability of my Atom Miner here. I think this is really cool. A little tiny FPGA. I haven't really been playing around with it, but now I'm finally playing around with it. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's saying it's mining the most profitable coin at the moment. Log or Skyn2 algorithm. Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this Atom Miner and Raspberry Pi together in unison. And the power consumption, yeah, it's about 13 watts now. I'm gonna assume, because it changed algorithms, that it, the power consumption is gonna fluctuate all the time, and that's like super low power consumption, to be honest, really low. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next profitability video for the Atom Miner. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, and peace out.